Most of us aren't lucky enough to have a motorized way of clearing the snow from our driveways. With the latest wintry deluge in the southern interior, shoveling is becoming an almost daily task. But you don't want to end up nursing an injury because you push the snow and yourself too hard. Nutritionist and fitness coach Tanya Gustafson says make sure you have good footwear and choose the right shovel. Make sure that your shovel isn't too big. We want to get the shoveling done fast, but if you're taking the one that has a swath about this big, you know what, you're going to be moving a lot of snow. It's a lot of weight and it's very awkward. It's a long lever. You're at the end. So, you know, so choose a smaller shovel. So Twisting is fine, but Gustafson says you have to do it correctly. Put your you know, hand down close to where the weight is, bend your knees, and as you lift, and then turn. Okay, so it's more like a lift and a turn as opposed to a, uh, you know, like a, a throwing motion because then you can really pull something, um, you know, from whichever side you're doing it, and then you're going to be in pain later. Another tip, when the pile of snow gets above shoulder height, push some of it off further onto your yard so you don't have to lift as high and don't go too hard to start. A little bit of, you know, don't just get up first thing in the morning and run out and shovel. You know, get up, move around a little bit, do a few stretches maybe before you come outside. Um, just so you get your blood working, get the muscles going, and uh, just to warm things up before you start lifting. The latest snowfall is forecast to end for most parts of the Thompson Okanagan by Friday night. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.